Here's some makeup tips that will take your makeup to the next level. Starting with primer, if you have big pores like me, I would highly recommend a pore filling primer. Not only will this fill in and blur your pores, it'll also give you that smooth finish. And if you want a more affordable option, I would recommend the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now you need a primer that's going to make your makeup last longer. You can either use the e.l.f. or the Milk Primer, but I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Primer today. This is going to give your makeup a nice base to stick to and make it last a lot longer. Now you're gonna set your primers and if you have oily skin, I would highly recommend doing this I'm using the Maybelline fit me setting powder in the color deep And what I like to do is pick up some of that powder using my beauty blender and tap some of it in the back of my hand So I can use as little as possible You do not want to pack this on and I just like to set it around my nose around my smile lines because my smile lines tend to crease a lot and On my forehead and my eyebrows and this really helps to also set my eyebrows So this step is optional, but I do like like a bit of a glow so I'm going in with my elf halo glow in the color deep I believe and I'm just gonna put that on all the areas where I would usually put my foundation and when I blend I start blending from the center of my face and then I spread it out and I also like to avoid my under eyes because I am gonna be adding concealer under there and you just don't want to pack on too much product on your under eyes because if you're putting foundation and you're putting halo glow and then you're going in and putting concealer you're definitely gonna crease and you're definitely gonna have like those lines because there's just way too much product there so try to avoid that area whenever you are putting on your foundation and speaking of foundation I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty soft matte foundation in the color 450 and I'm just putting that in those same areas where I just put the halo glow plus my plus my nose and my forehead and my neck of course can't forget the neck as I always say, as a dark skin girl, I have discoloration. My neck is much darker than the rest of my body for some reason. I think it's because I was a fat baby. So I have to put foundation on my neck to even out the color. So this is how we're looking. Now we're going to go in with concealer. I'm using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This concealer is so goaded. And for application for your concealer, try not to place it directly under your under eyes. Give it a little space. And also another thing I like to do is kind of create a reverse contour. So I place that concealer right next to my nose because it's gonna act as a reverse contour for me I also went ahead and did the little side things I like to call them the extendo and I also applied the concealer on my nose now I'm blending and when you're blending your concealer start blending from the bottom and then blend inward and the reason for that again is because you never want to pack on too much product directly under your eyes in those areas that crease always try to put as little product in that area as possible especially if you get really bad creasing on your under eyes and back to what I was saying about creating a bit of reverse contour. As you can see, I blended that concealer right like on my nose where I would put a contour like right underneath where a contour would go so that I don't actually have to contour my nose and now I'm blending out those side pieces and when I blend out the side pieces I like to make a sharp line this is gonna give me a facelift and I will diffuse it a little bit later and it's not gonna go like all the way up like that but anyway I'm just making sure that my under eyes are really really blended take your time with this step make sure that everything is blended and smoothly spread out I'm going in and blending my nose now and I was saying earlier that I did make that nose bit a little too thick usually it will be a lot thinner but again just make sure everything is nicely blended out nice and smooth take your time if you need to and now I'm going to contour I'm using my Fenty Beauty matchstick in the color espresso and I put that contour directly on my cheekbones I also did put it on my forehead and when I blend it out I just mostly focus on diffusing that little like line that I made with the concealer I diffuse it a little bit on the outer corner keep the inner corner sharp and then I also take it down and just give my cheekbones a little more structure and I'm literally blending this contour or should I say bronzer directly on my cheekbones and that's gonna look different for everyone because everyone has different facial structure so just try to figure out a way to blend the contour or the bronzer in a way that fits your specific facial structure and then I go in and blend out the forehead piece as well and I'm always forgetting to do this but I also like to take the bronzer and put it directly directly on my jawline to make it a little more structured and a little more defined and I promise this makes a difference which is why I hate when I forget to do it and then I'm just going back in and blending out my concealer again because we are now going to be setting and before I set I just want to make sure that everything is locked into place and we're going to be setting in part two so make sure you check that out it's already up right now you definitely don't want to miss all the tips that I still have left to show you guys I promise you need these tips and your makeup is only half done like be for real 